Hey y'all and welcome back to the DJ Outdoor Show. I'm going to prop my phone up with my uh, emergency response guidebook here. I'm tripodless. After my deer hunt yesterday, I forgot to uh, put my, um, well my tripod was hooked to my backpack, which is actually in the back of my car that made me 98 took to work today. So what are we talking about today? <laughs> I finally found a topic I haven't done. I've done 517 videos and I have 615 subscribers, so I have almost... 100 videos less than the subscribers that I have, which is cool because I've worked hard on it since like 2019. But today, guys, we're going to talk about socks, hunting socks in particular. You know, I got all kinds of socks here, all kinds of hunting socks here, and we're just going to talk about them. It's an important topic to talk about. But don't ask me brands, don't ask me specifics. All I know is where I got them and what kind of material they're made out of. So these are my normal socks that I wear every day right here. They're just Stanley brand, mid weight cotton true socks right that's fine for early hunting season or wearing them out to do things that's normally what i wear i'll throw these on and wear them i've even got a black pair they're a little bit thinner but still stanley brand i really like them durability wise with shorts i'll wear you know some ankle socks because i'm weird and sometimes i can't just go out in public when i want to look good with true socks all scrunched up but when it comes to hunting a lot of guys will be like, oh, my feet get cold, so I'm going to double up on my socks. I learned a long time ago not to wear two pairs of your socks. I don't know how true this is, but I've always shied away from it. But uh, when you wear two pairs of socks, there's a little thin layer of air that could keep your feet cold in between the layers of socks, you know. So what I've done is, I, like, I went to Walmart a couple years ago and I bought these. These are like a cotton, um, cotton wool blend sock. These are actually Mossy Oak brand. I don't have the other pair that came with these. These came with an orange and black pair, I believe. But these things are really, really warm. And I just wear them by themselves. And I'll wear them with my regular uh, lace-up 1200 gram boots or my rubber boots, too. Okay, and I just put these on. These actually keep my feet pretty warm. Um, I had a pair of 800 gram, um, the Survivor boots from Walmart. They're 800 gram stenciling. And my feet still got cold wearing these. But what I had to do was take a pair of hand warmers and put them down in my boots. And then my feet were extremely warm. So I like these because they're super soft. They're not rough like regular wool socks. Okay, they do say mossy oak on them. I know you guys can't see. There you go. See, mossy oak right there. And they're a really, really good sock. I like these. I've never had any issues with them, but I like to try to use the thicker socks when it gets really cold. The thing is, you don't want your feet to sweat and the, because it'll make your feet even colder. And in some situations, that's really hard to do. The, this pair right here was given to me, and I don't remember by who, but I think it's it's like one of those monkey socks. See, um, same exact thing, cotton wool blend. Um, these things will last forever. They're a little bit bigger. That's the thing. A lot of these socks are really big because some people just like to layer up their socks, keep your feet warm, tuck your sweatpants down in them, whatever. Okay. And I have yet to wear these. I actually found them in my storage unit. I was packing up my stuff and moving out of my house. So I decided to bring them in here. And there's nothing wrong with them. They're just big and bulky socks. Okay. The next two pairs of socks that I have are actual wool socks. I got these at Walmart in like a three pack after hunting season a year or two ago. These are the warmest socks I'll ever wear. I do not double layer these. You would think that they would be, they're a lot rougher, you know, so I'm like, well, they may not be that comfortable, but I, I put these things on. They're a lot thinner than these, so it surprised me. But these are the warmest socks that I've ever worn, and I don't remember the brand. I know I picked them up at Walmart in one of those, like I said, three-pack sets that say wool socks. And I wear these when they get really, really cold. Now again, like I said, ways to keep your feet warm. Put feet warmers or toe warmers in your sock, in your shoes. 
and it's like having a small heater on your feet whenever you're walking out there in the woods I did that once I was hunting on the Hill and Brain FWA it was opening day of muzzleloader season December 8th okay and I had put I had these on with the 800 gram boots like I just told that story put the heat warmers in there but then I got a flat tire and had to leave because I had to get that tire patch like I was gonna meet, leave and go to another spot and uh, I saw a lot of squirrels that morning but no this was like 2019 saw a lot of squirrels that morning but no deer just like my typical hunting but um come in a dark green pair and this green and gray thing and again these things are rough when I bought them I didn't know if I'd like them very well how comfortable they would be and they're really not that bad of a sock okay so if I was you I'd look for a wool sock that's kind of thin well, not real thick but man these things will trap the heat keep you warm mix them with a pair of insulated boots and you should be good to go should be good to go Another thing I do when I get a brand new pair of boots, which I have the, uh, I think I task a carbine boot, I think is what I have. Um, I saturate that thing in waterproof spray, and then I take tent seam sealer, and I go over every single stitch on that boot as if I was waterproofing a tent. That way, if you step in a puddle, whatever, it's not going to get wet, even if they are waterproof, okay? Because there's a difference between waterproof and water repellent. But, y'all, these are just some tips, socks that I have. I may go pick me up a couple more. Oh, yeah, Dollar Tree sells Real Tree brand boot socks. I've had a couple pairs. They're really thin. But they work good early season or just to work in. Um, I may actually go pick me up a couple more pairs today. Because uh, you're looking at what I have for uh, wool hunting socks. And I'm real bad because I may wear these hunting and then not wash them and throw them on again. Because I don't ever wear them anywhere else. But hey, whatever. But uh, I actually have another sock like this. But it doesn't have a mate. Cause I found it in her drawer. I know, yeah. Well, maybe 98 wears for socks <laughs> right here. This little girly socks, little soft one keeps you warm, whatever. But uh, they even have a little grip pad on the bottom. But yeah, guys, uh, just get you some feet warmers, insulated boots. And I'm telling you, throw on a couple pairs of these thick socks, and I don't think your feet will get. Cold. Don't double layer your socks. I never have. But y'all remember, like, comment, subscribe. Jesus loves you. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.